My name is uh, André Pereira Gliot and uh, I'm the new strategic coach for, uh, for Schalke. I was a, a basketball coach after being a player and uh, once I was in, in college some friends of mine were creating a, a League of Legends team for a local tournament and they invited me to be their coach since I had a traditional sports background. I accepted, I started just loving the game and starting to love the, the strategies around it. And I could find it really similar to, to the basketball, it was also a 5v5, really strategic. Kept loving the game, kept working hard and I went team after team until getting to the best team, winning the championships. Then I went to Spain. I guess the organization uh, saw potential in me, I saw hard work in, in me. So they gave me the opportunity to, to assume the Challenger Series team. And after that, uh, we just got first on the Challenger Series group, we promoted to LCS and uh, I guess my name started to, to, to pop out a bit uh, around that time. When teams started looking for a coach uh, for the, the next split of the LCS, I actually got uh, around four to five teams that, that approached to me. After talking to Schalke, I, I felt that I didn't even need to to talk so much in depth with, uh, with the other organizations because basically what I was looking for was a professional organization with a, a really good structure and the place where I could, could grow and uh, actually had a, a group of players that had the same goals as me. And once Mitch and, and Hans talked to me, I, I just felt really impressed by the whole project, impressed by the whole structure. I mean, after the first talks, I just knew that it was a place where I wanted to, to be a part of. So I arrived a bit later than the team because of um, the Spanish Championship. I, I had to, to finish that first to, to, end, to end the year on a, on a good way, I would say. But uh, once, once I arrived, I left the airport and I could already start feeling, oh, this, this is something like really, really huge, like really, really big. I managed to meet all the, the other people involved in, in the esports and they, they all gave me the same feeling, the feeling of uh, inclusion inside of the family, the feeling of uh, professionalism. And just each time just makes me to, to be sure that I made the right choice. So for me, success with, uh, with this team um, would be if, if we actually felt inside of the structure that we managed to, to, to implement all the unique things that, that the Schalke project has in mind. So, create a, a good working environment, an environment where players can, can improve, where the team can bond together. I think I'm one of those kind of coaches that actually can distinguish a lot the, the working space and the, and the personal space. I actually like to create a, a connection with players because at the end of the day we are not only educating players, we are also educating humans and that's one of the most important things for me, I would say. I would describe success if the project that we have in mind it's correctly implemented and uh, everything goes out well. We are not looking for results, we are looking way more to, to the process itself than, uh, and the results will just be a consequence of that process being well made. <laughs>